Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Archie and Lily's mom. Can we talk about how pretty Megan looks? Tune in now for a reading of her book, The Bench. Hi, and welcome to Brightly Storytime. I'm Megan, the Duchess of Sussex, and today I'm going to read to you my book called The Bench. The Bench, which captures the evolving and expanding relationship between father and son, and reminds us of the many ways that love can take shape and be expressed in a modern family. The Bench beautifully captures the special relationship between father and son as seen through a mother's eyes. The book's storytelling and illustration give us snapshots of shared moments that evoke a deep sense of warmth, connection, and compassion. In The Bench, Meghan Markle touchingly captures the evolving and expanding relationship between father and son, and reminds us of the many ways that love can take shape and be expressed in a modern family. This is our recording. Sound can be a little hard to hear. We hope you can hear the full extent of what she wants us to hear from her true thoughts and feelings. For the man and the boy who make my heart go pump pump. This is your bench where life will begin. For you and our son, our baby, our kin. This is your bench where you'll witness great joy. From here, you will rest, see the growth of our boy. He'll learn to ride a bike as you watch on with pride. He'll run and he'll fall and he'll take it in stride. You'll love him, you'll listen, you'll be his supporter. When life feels in shambles, you'll help him find order. You'll sit on this bench as his giving tree. Some days he may cry, perched there on your knee. He'll feel happiness, sorrow, one day be heartbroken. You'll tell him, I love you, those words always spoken. This is your bench for Papa and Son, to celebrate joys and victories won. And here in the window, I'll have tears of great joy, looking out at my love and our beautiful boy. Right there on your bench, the place you'll call home, with Daddy and son, where you'll never be alone. I hope you enjoyed the bench. I loved being able to share it with you. And now I hope you're able to go and find your own special bench. Megan speaks about the illustrator Christian Robinson. He worked in watercolor for the first time, Caldecott winning, best-selling illustrator. Christian Robinson expands on his signature style to bring joy and softness to the pages, reflecting the beauty of a father's love through a mother's eyes. With a universal message, this thoughtful and heartwarming read aloud is destined to be treasured by families for generations to come. Quick disclaimer, everything in this video and all of my videos are my opinion based on detailed research that I perform. That said, I would recommend doing your own research before you make up your mind. Thank you. The Best and Worst Days of Meghan Markle's Life Being a member of the firm isn't always easy, and to any royal fan it's clear that Meghan Markle's life has been filled with highs and lows. From the dizzying heights of her wedding day to the vicious tabloid articles, the public has watched as Meghan has embarked on the difficult journey of becoming a member of the royal family. Taking a quick look at the tragic story of Princess Diana makes that clear. With the press constantly hounding Meghan, she's had to adjust to being in the public eye almost 24-7. She also had to give up her old life in America, where she was a successful actress. However, despite the downsides of royal life, Meghan has also had some great times in recent years, too. She's become a mother and started a new life with her family in the States, after breaking away from the royal family. LMT channel like you are curious and want to find out more because of this. Here are the best and worst days of Meghan's life. 
best day, the proposed. We think it's probably safe to say that the day that Prince Harry proposed was one of the happiest of Meghan Markle's life. This was before she'd realized just how tough life in the public eye would be, all she knew was that she was about to spend the rest of her life with the man she loved. In their engagement interview with BBC, in November 2017, the couple told the adorable story of how Harry proposed. And, uh, a few weeks ago, um, earlier this month, here at, at our cottage. Megan said, it was a cozy night, and the two were roasting chicken when Harry suddenly dropped to one knee. Just an amazing surprise. It was so sweet and, and natural and very romantic. Megan went on to explain that she was so eager to say yes that she almost interrupted the proposal. She didn't even let me finish. She said, can I say yes, can I yes? Worst day, the press. At the beginning of their relationship, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were able to enjoy a fairly normal courtship, falling in love as any couple would without the constant pressure of the paparazzi. However, when the press caught onto the relationship, in 2016, everything changed for Meghan. The press were quick to pounce on Meghan after the relationship became public. Apparently, Harry was quick to attack the media. When Harry confirmed that he and Meghan were together in 2016, he said the two fought legal battles against defamatory stories, according to the BBC. Stories even emerged of reporters trying to break into Meghan's home. As Meghan revealed in a now infamous ITV interview, the press quickly became one of the most difficult things she'd ever dealt with in her life. And also thank you for asking, because not many people have asked if I'm okay. When she had started dating Harry, her friends had told her that the British tabloids would destroy her life. While she didn't realize it at the time, her friends ended up being right. From the moment they discovered her relationship with Harry, her life was changed forever and sadly, not for the better. Best Day, Suits Before Meghan Markle married into the royal family, she was a successful Hollywood actress. And before that, she was just like any other aspiring actress in Hollywood. She worked a series of odd jobs while auditioning for pilot after pilot, waiting for her big break. She reportedly worked as a freelance calligrapher and even spent time as a model on Deal or No Deal. We think it's safe to say that when Meghan was cast in Suits, she finally made it as an actor, her dreams had come true. As she wrote in 2016 for Elle, my mom is sitting in my trailer on a show in which I am a lead character and that has a viewership of more than 1.7 million. It's surreal. We never would have dreamed that this would be my reality. It's clear that the star was thrilled to have finally made it as an actress. Worst Day, South Africa One of Meghan's hardest experiences seems to have been her trip to South Africa with Prince Harry. At the time, she had just given birth to Archie, so she was, quite understandably, completely exhausted. On the final day of the tour, Meghan opened up about her mental health during an ITV interview, famously revealing she wasn't okay. I never thought that this would be easy, but I thought it would be fair. In an appearance on the Teenager Therapy podcast one year later, Meghan spoke about the day of the interview, saying, we were on a tour in South Africa and on the last day of the tour, man, I was tired. I was just about to give Archie a bath. I was exhausted. It's... It's, um... Hard. Apparently, she was even breastfeeding Archie between engagements, as Megan went on to explain the famous interview was the result of her exhaustion. Best Day, The Royal Wedding Meghan Markle's wedding to Prince Harry was easily one of the biggest weddings in royal history. For Meghan, the wedding was her chance to take the next step with Harry. On the day, Harry and Meghan wrote on Instagram. Thank you for all of the love and support from so many of you around the world. Each of you made this day even more meaningful. It's clear that it was a day neither will ever forget. Meghan explained her side of the story in an audio guide, saying, a great level of detail went into the planning of our wedding day. We knew how large the scale of the event would be, so in making choices that were really personal and meaningful, it could make the whole experience feel intimate. Meghan's wedding dress even contained a scrap of fabric from the outfit she wore on her first date with Harry. Sounds like this couple put a lot of thought into their wedding day and that the day meant a lot to them both. Worst day, her miscarriage. 
In 2020, Meghan Markle wrote a remarkable piece for The New York Times in which she opened up about her devastating miscarriage from earlier that year. Apparently, the miscarriage happened as she was changing Archie's diaper, she wrote. After changing his diaper, I felt a sharp cramp. I dropped to the floor with him in my arms. Humming a lullaby to keep us both calm the cheerful tune a stark contrast to my sense that something was not right. In the article, Megan went on to describe how horrible the miscarriage was for her, writing. Losing a child means carrying an almost unbearable grief, experienced by many but talked about by few. She explained that the event taught her the stark reality about just how frequent miscarriages really are. In fact, 10 to 20 percent of women experience them, as she wrote. We think it's clear that the day she lost this second child was one of the worst of her life. Best Day, Archie's Birth In 2019, Meghan Markle gave birth to her first child, Archie. It's clear that Meghan is a doting mother, and Archie's birth has most certainly changed her life. It's safe to say that May 6, 2019, was one of the best days of her life as she welcomed her son into the world. Prince Harry told the press at the time it's been the most amazing experience I could ever have possibly imagined. I'm so incredibly proud of my wife. During Fortune's virtual summit in 2020, Meghan explained just how much she had changed since becoming a mother saying, It makes you more courageous, it makes you so concerned for the world they're going to inherit. As she went on to explain motherhood had made her begin to think more seriously about how she would make the world a better place for her son. She said, I wouldn't be able to feel proud of myself as a mom if I didn't know that I wasn't doing my part to make it a better place for him. It sounds like Megan's life really did change for the better with the birth of Archie. Worst Day, Megan's Father Meghan Markle has had a pretty complicated relationship with her father, Thomas Markle. In an essay for Elle, in 2016, Meghan called him, quote, the most hardworking father. However, in the lead up to Meghan's wedding, things got quite tense between Meghan and her father. He reportedly staged paparazzi photos, which are said to have embarrassed Meghan and the royal family. Shortly after this, he suffered a heart attack, and it was announced two days before the big day that he would be unable to attend his daughter's wedding. Meghan wrote at the time, Sadly, my father will not be attending our wedding. I have always cared for my father and hope he can be given the space he needs to focus on his health. It's clear that it was heartbreaking for the bride to be to realize that her father wouldn't be able to walk her down the aisle, even if his mistakes with the press had made their relationship more complicated. Best Day, a big move. After a difficult few years working as a full-time member of the royal family, Meghan Markle stepped back from royal life, moving with her family first to Canada, and then back to the States. For Meghan, this meant some much-needed respite and the chance of a more normal life. In a conversation with the 19th News, in 2020, Meghan said, she has enjoyed the opportunity to use her voice in a way that she hadn't been able to before. Yeah, it's good to be home. Not only did Meghan return to her home country, she also got to return to her old way of life. Later in 2020, it was announced that Meghan and Harry would take on a huge producing deal with Netflix. Meghan would be returning to her old world of film and TV. It seems that the families move away from the royal family and their return to the United States has been a huge positive for Meghan. By the sounds of things, her future looks a lot more hopeful than it once did. Stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT videos about the royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to LMT channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.